Let's get something to eat. So I came out of my cell. I walked downstairs. I walk up to the gate where the CL's at. Give him a head nod. He opens the gate. He know who I am. I walk out in the hallway. I walk down the hallway. Get right up the hallway. There's another gate where the sergeant sits. I give him a head nod. I walk by him. He get down to another gate. Give him that nod. He let me walk up. You get the center control, which is this big encased steel and plastic and plexiglass where they control the whole prison. And across from it is a gate that goes to the kitchen. I, I grab the gate, get a gate, a head nod, he opened the gate. I walk down the hallway. It's like this long corridor to get to the kitchen door. I bang on the kitchen door. The guy slides a little slot back. CO sees it's me. He opens the door. I walk in. I'm like, yo, dude's on the grill. I'm like, yo, Jim, man, um, make me a hamburger. Make me some fries. Like, all right, Dre. They hop to it. I'm chilling. I'm just waiting, right? And then this guy comes walking out from the back. He walks up. He's like, hey, what are you doing in my kitchen? You're not dressed right. Because they all have to wear white. I got a regular clothes. What are you doing in my kitchen? You're not dressed right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's yelling at me. He's like yelling at me. I'm like, dude, check this out. First, all the yelling's not necessary. So let's just stop yelling and talk like men. And second... You can't even back that yelling up. So he comes and I said, yo, who are you? This is who I asked my time. Who are you? I'm the food service administrator. I'm in charge of this. I ran this restaurant, that restaurant. I'm in charge of this whole kitchen. Ah. He said, well, who are you? There was a song out by Warren G called A Regulator. So I'm the regulator. He says, well, what do you regulate? I said, if you go home or not. And it hit me. I said, dude, you're talking tough. You're yelling at me for no reason. You ain't tough. It don't make sense. It's not necessary. I said, man, I just came out to get something to eat. And you're doing all this woofing about nothing. And he's, and he's looking and he's still star. I said, dude, yeah. I said, listen, I could kill you. And if I killed you, right, you'd be dead. Your wife would miss you. Your kids would miss you. I don't have a wife and kids. It's just me. I said, now, if I kill you right now, you're going to go home dead. I'm going to solitary confinement. I'll be back in about seven years. When I get back in seven years, you'll still be dead. This kitchen will still be here. I'll walk through them, save five locked doors. I just walked through to get here just now. And everybody in this kitchen is doing exactly what I told them to do, except you. And I'm going to get a hamburger. So my question is this. It's not, am I going to get a hamburger? Is this do I get it today or do I get it in seven years? That's your call. He's looking at me. Because <laughs> I talk calm. He's looking at me. He has the, on his hip, he has a radio. He, can, he got the little orange button on. He can smash the orange button and all the troops will come running. And he's looking at the radio and he's looking at me. You can smash the button. They're going to take me. I'll be in hope for about a week, <laughs> if that, for coming down here talking shit to you. He walked over to the grill. He said, yo. Dude said, what's up? He said, make them two. <laughs> then he went in the office and he called his wife, sweating bullets. Wow. And how long were you were you living like that for? Where like you were just running the prison for a while? Yeah, it was my turn. Yeah, and at that point, were you? No, I ran the prison until I went back to solitary confinement. Oh, and you went back. I picked again. up two more attempted murder cases and I went back to solitary. Mm. So I was running that prison f until I went back to solitary. 